I'm guessing going to feed the cows so that he can hook the gathering tank back up to this tractor. Um, so he's got a bale. Usually gives him two bales at once, so he'll get rid of those. And then we'll go gather sap because we're gonna boil today. Because we're gonna make maple syrup today. unwrapped it. Grappy, grappy. Thank you for leaving. Okay, yeah, so we just fed the cows freed up the hitch. So here is um, the tank that we use to gather sap up in the big woods. So he's going to prime the pump and get set up for boiling. And then we'll take a trip up on the hill and get our first load of sap for the morning. Very exciting because it's running really good right now. Welcome back friends of the farm. Quick update. So uh, as you just saw, we just fed the cows and hooked up the gathering tank to go get some more sap. Um, it's been running like crazy all night and this morning, which is awesome. I'm about to show you guys um, the jar where it comes in. And yeah, so we're going to be boiling today. We boiled a couple times already, um, and so far we've made light, medium, and dark. So it started off dark because we had a pretty wet warm-up at the beginning, and now we're definitely going to cook back to light today, so... Very exciting. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up if you're a maple syrup lover because I'm about to show you everything that goes into making it. It's definitely warming up. Everything's melting. Water's running. flowing really good into the jar, this is what I'm talking about. So between batches of syrup, um, this is the finishing pan, which after it cooks down in the evaporator, um, it comes into the finishing pan and it needs to go through the filter press before we can it or barrel it. So I know this all sounds a little complicated, it's really not. I just want to show you guys the different parts of it. So when I talk about it, you, you can picture it, you know, in your mind. So finishing pan and here's the filter press. So it needs to be cleaned each time, so I'm about to take it apart. Um, I just pulled it apart and I'm letting some of the syrup drain out of it that was left in it. But basically you pull it apart and I have to take out these um, used filters and then um, I'll wash all of these and restock it with new filters in it and I'm going to show you guys how I do that. the solid ones and the ones with the hole. So I'm doing this because 
The syrup has to flow through these little holes after it's pressed through the filters. And if you don't have them stacked the exact right way, like the syrup's not gonna make it through all the way the right way. So I take them all out of the sink once they're all rinsed off and stack them all up. So I'll show you guys that. And then here's the new filters. And before I stick them back on, I have to get them wet. So kind of have my, all, my setup all ready. Put it back together. Also, these things are not light. Like, they are full on heavy. <laughs> also, with the pump going and the evaporators on and like moving barrels around, it's definitely not like a filming friendly, uh, quiet environment, but I'm gonna do my best to speak loud enough for you guys. So when I put the filter papers on, the little hole in the filter has to be lined up with the little hole on the press, and that's where the syrup can flow through. So there's two holes at the top of each one. Finished product. Oh, yeah. But. That's a good smell. <laughs> but. Nothing. It is. Smell that. Get a good taste for it. Blew it up. Oh, it does smell really good. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the ways that we gauge how much this app is running is how often this glass jar will empty. So we split our tapping basically into like three sections. We call them Van Loans and then Buck Hill and then the Big Woods. So like Buck Hill is just like old sap house area, which is like directly back behind the current sap house and that woods. And then Van Loans is actually our neighbor's property that we tap. So that's up that way. You guys have no perspective of what I'm saying, but, and then the Big Woods. So the Big Woods is where the gathering tank has to go. So Sam took the tractor up with the tank. Um, that has its own vacuum pump set up up there with a, which like a large bulk tank and we have to go gather from that tank and bring it back, back down to the farm. And then at the farm, we have a pump right on the other side of this wall and that's what um, sucks, like that vacuum sucks down from Van Loans and from behind the sap house. So one of the ways we gauge how fast the sap is running is how often this jar will empty. So there's like four or five gallons in here and we'll just literally set a timer on our phone and like when it's running great, it's like, you know, two minutes or less or whatever, um, three or four minutes is like, it's running. Um, and yeah, just thought I'd explain that. <laughs> I just want to explain the grades of syrup to you guys real quick a little bit more and what we use them for. So a really good season is when we can make plenty of light syrup. Because basically it's our favorite grade of syrup to make products out of because it looks the nicest um, for like maple butter and maple candy and all those delicious confections. So a season when we don't make a lot of light kind of sucks. So we were worried about this season because the more it stays warm and promotes bacteria growth and doesn't freeze at night, um, rainy, keeping it defrosted, that's not good weather because um, you'll go straight to dark, darker grades of syrup. So we were a little nervous about this season because it started off, like it started off great honestly. We had a really cold winter so it was like totally frozen ground. Um, you guys saw when I was tapping like it was snowy, keeping the roots frozen on the trees. 
um, and like a perfect sap day is like freezing at night and then it warms up to like 40 and sunny and it runs great and then goes back to freezing at night. But the beginning of the season, we had a couple of nights where it wasn't freezing. It reached like it reached like 60 during the day and it was raining, which just like really defrosts everything really quick. And it can push your season along too fast because it promotes bacteria growth. So anyway, usually at the beginning of your season, you want to be able to make light syrup first because your syrup grades will get darker and kind of lose their good flavor as the season goes. So. We were lucky enough to start making light um, just this past weekend, which is super exciting. That was like our second or third boil. Um, and it's right back to light today, which I just wanted to show you guys what that really means. So get some light. So you can see with the light behind this, like see how light and nice this syrup is. This will make like your best maple candy, maple butter, just really beautiful products. And it has like the most delicate flavor is what they say. So you have golden, which is light syrup, and then you have medium amber, and then you have dark, and then very dark. So it's all, like, they're all delicious, and everyone has their own preference. So like very dark, a lot of people like to bake with it because it has a really strong flavor. Um, medium is like the most common table syrup, so like what you'd put on pancakes. And you just kind of hope to make some of every grade, but especially making light is probably the hardest and the most rewarding. Um, so we're really happy that we're back to making light today. Well, let's maybe like roll this up just a little. <laughs> <laughs> so since this is a family owned business, we need a clip of mom. Mom, why don't you explain why we're drawing off at seven and what that means? Oh, okay, so water, <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> yeah. Water boils at our altitude at 212 degrees, and syrup is syrup at seven degrees higher than the boiling point of water at our altitude. So that's where the seven comes into on the thermometer. So at 219, we would have syrup on a regular candy thermometer, but on the evaporator, we draw up at 7. Uh, that temperature can measure density, but we actually finished our syrup off using hydrometer to be more specific at 66%. So it's a science, really. It is a science. Um, it sounds kind of complicated, but it's not really, but you do want to know what you're doing. Um, and that's why we make some of the most delicious syrup. Okay, so if you're enjoying this video so far, please subscribe. This is just like so exciting. It's like when you see all your hard work pay off and literally the fruits of your labor. So. I'm pumped. So when this number starts to climb higher, you gotta open the valve a little bit more and draw off a little bit faster. syrup and if I hold it up to the light 
you can see that it's a light syrup. It's not full because I drank some of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we made that today and if it was full, the light would really shine through and you could see that it's light amber. So pretty exciting. Today's high is like 66, which is very warm for maple season. Today is going to be like our fourth boil. It's going to be like our fourth day in a row boiling, but it's not going to freeze for a couple nights now, which will probably stop the sap running. It's already looking like a little bit cloudier, so we're probably definitely going to move on to some darker grades of syrup. But yeah, so we've been boiling for like four days and... Uh, it's actually so warm outside that I think I might go for a run if I have some time. This weekend is Maple Weekend, one of two Maple Weekends. So we're doing a lot of prep and getting ready for hopefully a lot of visitors and walking everybody through um, a lot of the stuff that I just showed you guys. So yeah, but I might take like an hour and go for a run. And before I end this video, I just wanted to show you guys a week or two ago, we actually drove down to Jersey, um, like South Jersey, and got a new stock trailer. Bing, bing. We've been trying to move a few more cattle at once, so. And also when we um, harvest our pigs, like we bring like 15 at a time. So we were looking for having our own trailer that could fit enough livestock on it. And we got a really good deal on a 2021 16 footer down in Jersey. So here she is. So yeah, I'll probably end this video here and try to make a few more while it's still sap season. But thank you guys so much for watching and comment below with any questions that I didn't cover. I know sometimes I ramble on or just talk like I know what everyone knows what I'm talking about. Give this video a big thumbs up and on a side note if you've made it to the end of this video i wanted to tell you guys that i got this really awesome live stream equipment but in order to live stream directly like whenever i want to i need um a thousand subscribers <laughs> like i know that sounds like i'm making that up but i'm not um it's just youtube's like rules that i can't do live streams until i have a thousand subscribers so if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up and i will see you guys soon